What's up everybody, welcome back. I'm Abe and this is Path of Exile, which you may or may not have seen me playing on Twitch for the last few weeks. Um, so why are we here? I just wanted to make a little video and explain to you, if you are not familiar with Path of Exile, give you a very high level introduction to the game. So you pick a number of characters from a number of predetermined characters and there isn't a lot that gets prescribed by that choice and so you're determining your own abilities and your own stats based on choices that you make in the game so one choice that you make is what character class you are and you might think okay that probably tells me a lot but all that does is start you out on this really massive skill tree now before you have a stroke upon seeing this, realize that these are all passive abilities. You don't actually get abilities by claiming any one of these. And so as you level up to like 95, you're going to be, you know, snaking around this thing. But what your class choice does is it starts you off somewhere. So it might start you here if you're a shadow. I haven't played enough to really know where everybody starts but they start here 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 and here unless you are the class that you unlock in which case you start right here i think so what does that mean that means that as a shadow i start out with you know the ability to choose physical and chaos damage or i, I could go like melee or caster right those are my choices and then as i get more into it i can uh I can make different choices that'll uh, accentuate one ability or another or one type of gameplay or another so all right so that's your first choice secondly where do you get your abilities if not from the skills well that's where this game differs from other action RPGs like it you get your abilities from gems the gems that you then put in your gear and your gear ends up with sockets for those gems so my main ability is cobra lash on this character and it says it fires a poisonous projectile based on your weapon that will chain between enemies requires a dagger or a claw so all right so you've got three different colors you've got green red and blue as you can see here blue are more casting oriented green is more melee like uh, rogue type and red is more like warrior type strength and such so again now your gear will come in tons it'll just drop non-stop and it's not going to be like Diablo where only gear that you can use will drop unfortunately all manner of gear is going to drop and so you're gonna have you're gonna have you know, they give you four tiers to start with but or uh, four little tabs in your stash to start with but the stash is shared across your characters so my advice is only loot stuff that, again, very high level, loot things that will give you value. And I'm being in intentionally vague there. Value in that maybe you want to use it, or value in that when you hand it in to a vendor, it will get you something of more value than the item. So we can get into vendor recipes, which is what they're called for this game. But this is all currency. Everything in here, for the most part, is a currency of some kind. And not just, you know, something that you would spend. It's not just gold or silver or something like that. But they all have some sort of ability associated with them. So like these orbs of alteration. They reforge a magic item with new random modifiers. And magic is the blue. So I could, you know, use it on this crappy pair of gloves I've had for too long and who knows what it would end what stats would end up on there um but as a currency i can also use it to buy skill gems right one orb of alteration you can see over here so okay so all of this they, they just bombard you with different types of currency and they all have uses in the game so as you use them you're obviously giving up the ability to buy stuff with them but, you know, you've got the scrolls that identify items. You've got town portal scrolls. Those are familiar. But again, these are currency for items in the game. 
as you sell stuff to vendors, you'll get things that turn into scrolls, you'll get things that turn into uh, all of these different orbs. So abilities come from gems, gear drops ad nauseum, and you need to be very circumspect about what you're looting. And the overwhelming skill tree that you see here is just passive skills. It just, this one gives, you know, percentage increases to chaos and physical damage for each one. This one gives a little bit, gives you dexterity and intelligence. You know, you come up here, you get some life, maybe some life drain. I don't know, you know what I mean? So you pick your route and I would go and pick a build or a spec or whatever that, that people have proven out. And then sometimes there are these empty gem slots, which like this one, I've, I've put a jewel in there that gives me 20 dexterity and some resistances, but a lot of people's builds revolve around going and unlocking some of these jewel slots. So this build has me come up here and grab this one in addition to this one and, and you know some of the others that it will enlighten or invariably take me to so high level path of exile is and i'm just gonna jump in here and show you something random we'll just go to the docks it is an action rpg and that just means that uh there we go stairs that just means you're running around and you're killing stuff and loot is dropping and you're deciding whether that loot is is worth it to you so so there you go so these are two currency types right the blacksmith's whetstone and the orb of alteration and there's a little loot filter that you can download it's the only mod for the game that that will color sort of provide some visual cues as the loot drops as to what's worth more than others so so that's it that's the kind of game it is these are the things that uh, at a very basic level you're gonna wanna be aware of going into it and it's free to play so enjoy and with that I bid you adieu because I gotta prepare for my stream thank you for watching and you can catch my streams on Tuesdays at 7 30 p.m. Pacific and Saturdays from 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific as well. All right, I'll catch you later.